80s. CNN's Jeff Zeleny is at the White House for us. And Jeff, many, many questions today for White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders about these accusations. Jake, there were many questions indeed, but uh, pretty much one answer. The White House, again, denying all of these allegations. They're saying that essentially, look, these have been asked and answered. The voters knew about these, of course, before the election last year. This is all coming under, of course, a very different microscope. But White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders also added this. She said it took place a long time before he was elected. With sexual harassment allegations during a national reckoning, three of President Trump's accusers joined together today, saying the man in the Oval Office should also be held accountable. I ask that Congress uh, put aside their party affiliations and investigate Mr. Trump's history of sexual misconduct. At least 15 women have come forward with accusations ranging from sexual harassment and misconduct to sexual assault, including unwanted kissing and groping. In some, some areas of our society, People are being held accountable, accountable for uh, unwanted behavior. But we are not holding our president accountable for what he is and who he is. All of the alleged incidents took place before Mr. Trump won the White House. On the campaign trail and since, he has denied the allegations. The events never happened. Never. All of these liars will be sued after the election. He never followed through on that threat of legal action. But today at the White House, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders responded like this. The president has addressed uh, these accusations directly and denied all of these allegations. And this took place long before he was elected to be president. And the people of this country had a decisive uh, election, supported President Trump and we feel like these allegations have been answered through that process. Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, who is one of the most high-profile women in the Trump administration, said the president's accusers have a right to be heard. They should be heard and they should be dealt with. And I think we heard from them prior to the election. And I think any woman who has felt violated or felt mistreated in any way, they have every right to speak up. Allegations surrounding the president's behavior are getting a fresh look in the wake of the Alabama Senate race and the searing national conversation on sexual misconduct. Only days after Senator Al Franken said he would resign amid reports of touching women inappropriately, several Democratic senators sought to seize the high ground and called for the president's resignation. Just hours ago, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand telling CNN's Christiane Amanpour that Congress should investigate the president's behavior and hold him accountable. President Trump should resign. Uh, these allegations are credible. They are numerous. Uh, I've heard these women's testimony, and many of them are heartbreaking. So at that daily press briefing today, Jake, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders uh, talked about eyewitnesses. Now, this is the first time that we have heard that from the White House podium. She said there were eyewitnesses to some of these accounts of allegations, and they simply um, weren't true. We've asked the White House about that. They've only given us two examples at this point. One comes from a New York Daily News story, one from a New York Post story, both of which were out during the campaign as well, both of which did not directly address or have an eyewitness to any of this here. One, of course, involved a a passenger who was on the plane with the, uh, the president, and one involved a, a beauty a contestant in the back room here as saying she never saw the president go in there, but she, in fact, was not, that, uh, was not at that contest. So as of now, the eyewitnesses the White House is putting forward simply do not seem to be in the moment at the time there, Jake, but we'll see if we get more uh, examples of that as she promised in the briefing. Jake. All right, Jeff Zeleny at the White House for us. My panel is here with me to discuss this and much more. Um, so.